Nike has put out some pretty impressive tech in 2019, but what this boot has is unlike anything we've ever seen. Now, obviously these boots have ACC. It's clearly marked right there. But if you look even closer, you can see that it has ACC again. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the world's first double ACC football boot. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new under the radar pack colorway of an excellent pair of football boots that a lot of people seem to have forgotten about the Nike Phantom Venom Elite. The modern football boot industry is all about the newest thing. So while we've been getting constant colorway updates for the Phantom Venom, most of the focus, especially for the Nike brand, has been on the new Tiempo and the brand new Mercurials, even though the Phantom Venom is arguably the best football boot that Nike makes right now. So with that in mind, I wanna refresh everybody on what the Phantom Venom is all about and also talk about how it compares to these brand new models that Nike just put out. Not so much the Tiempo, definitely more so the Mercurial. I think a lot of people view the Mercurial and the Phantom Venom as the two best options within the Nike lineup, but they're also fairly similar in terms of a lot of the features that they have on offer. Which one is best for you? It's exactly the question I'm gonna be answering in today's video, including how they fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around and watch the whole video. And if you're interested in a pair for yourself, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below Below. That's going to take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $250 retail price. If you guys do end up enjoying this video and perhaps would like to see some more Phantom Venom comparisons on the channel, don't forget to support this one with a like and let me know what you want to see down below in the comment section. Also, if you're new here watching for the first time and don't want to miss out on daily content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. So included with the boots is a regular Nike box. But what most of you came here to see is this, the string bag, which they do include with all their top end models. This one being black in color with black strings and then featuring the Phantom Venom kind of target graphic in the middle there and kind of like a dark gray with a sparkly effect to it does have the Volt Yellow Phantom Venom logo running through the middle and a little Volt Yellow swoosh at the bottom, nothing on the back. It's a simple design, kind of black on dark gray, which actually looks really good. I'm a fan of this string bag, which is why it gets a string bag score of 2,900 out of 33,333.2. Minus 30,000. Very quickly, I just wanted to go over the colorway because unlike the Mercurials in the Under the Radar pack that are pretty much fully blacked out or the Tiempos that are a dark gray, these are mostly blacked out, but obviously with Volt yellow accents, but it does introduce some extra design elements that we haven't seen on other colorways of the Phantom Venom, where they basically took the all over branding concept of the brand new Mercurial and put it here on the Phantom Venom. It's black on black, so you have a matte black finish with gloss elements, where it basically just says Phantom Venom, it lists Nike I, probably like a hundred different times. You have the extra ACC logo, it says just do it in there multiple times. Other than that, you'll notice that the swoosh does have a little bit of kind of like an oil slick color changing effect to it, which is quite cool. And then they just went with a Volt Yellow accent, which we've seen so many times from Nike in the past, outlined for the swoosh, all the little branding across the boot, including the ACC logo on the heel. And then moving to the sole plate and stud pattern, it features a black plastic sole plate, not a wearable finish, and translucent studs. Very low profile, very sleek looking colorway, and something that honestly, I always like this combination, so I'm definitely not mad at it. However, the main question is, do you buy a Phantom Venom or do you buy the new Mercurial? Well, the Venoms have double ACC, so the choice is simple. But if for some reason you're not concerned about double ACC, these are, in my opinion, the two best football boots on offer from the Nike brand right now. And the main difference between them is actually more things than you would think, because obviously they both have flying at uppers, which do make them similar in a lot of ways. But I definitely feel that the Mercurial is still what you expect from a Mercurial. A tight wrap around your foot, a tighter fit in general, a thinner upper, more of a barefoot sensation, and I would argue more aggressive traction along with a more responsive feel. It does everything you expect a Mercurial to do better than arguably any Mercurial that has come before it. The Phantom Venom, however, does have a lot of Mercurial-esque elements to it. The flying it upper is thin, but it's definitely not as thin as these Vapors. It also does have a very responsive feel, partially due to the fact that it utilizes flywire cables within the lacing system. And the stud pattern is also more aggressive than we've seen on any other boot outside of the Mercurial line in quite some time now. However, what I think this boot has going for it and what separates it 
from pretty much any other football boot on the market right now is it does have a little bit of that old school power boot vibe, which obviously you're just not gonna get from the Mercs. For me, what makes the Phantom Venom feel distinctively different than pretty much any other knitted football boot out there right now is it's still more traditional construction than pretty much everything else. It's not a true one-piece upper. It is a standard kind of off-centered lacing system with a fly knit tongue filling in the gap, and it utilizes a striking element, something we don't see on any other football boot right now, although it's not really an old school striking element, it's what they call the precision power element, minus the O and the E in power, and it's not actually made out of rubber, it's just texturing kind of pressed into this synthetic and knitted material that you have for an upper with a slightly kind of tacky, grippy coating on the surface that does mimic very similarly the grip that you would get from rubber. I think the main reason why they didn't go with rubber, however, is just because it's a heavier, bulkier material and the thing about modern football boots is they're trying to be as thin and light as possible. Either way, I think it still provides that unique feeling, that ping, that power, that sense of precision that you can only get from a pair of boots that have that striking element. So for those of us that grew up with stuff like the T90 Laser Series, I was a huge fan of those. This is far from a T90 Laser but it reminds me of that in a lot of ways when playing in this boot, which is part of the reason why the Phantom Venom is my personal favorite boot from the Nike brand right now. Is the striking element gonna make you score more goals? Absolutely not, but it is the defining characteristic of this particular boot that separates it from everything else out there. The fly knit upper is soft, it's flexible, it does have a sock-like sensation to a certain extent, but it also has a feel more like a synthetic upper rather than a knitted upper in a lot of ways because of the way that this football boot is constructed. It also has a micro texturing here in the four foot toe box area with some additional grip as well. The laces are of course off-centered, pushed to the lateral side of the upper just to make for more room with this particular striking element. So you have a very clean surface when making contact with the ball. The lacing system runs underneath this lace cover. That's kind of a controversial design element, more so in regards to the look of the boots. It's not something that you really ever notice when playing in the boots at all. And that lacing system is directly attached to flywire cables that are knitted through the upper itself and really do their part with the laces tied tight to secure the midfoot and forefoot area of the foot and really give you a much more responsive sensation than you'd expect from what is a very, very soft and flexible upper. As far as the heel area is concerned, it does feature a standard low cut construction, um, which I'm personally very happy about. I don't think that this boot needed to be mid cut at all. And to the heel, you'll find that it does have an internal plastic heel counter and pretty standard setup for a liner with synthetic leather on the sides and then a really nice suede material at the very back with plenty of extra padding. The insoles are fully removable and do feature Nike's Nike Grip technology, as you can see listed right there on the heel. Just feels like regular mesh, although you will notice there is a little bit of an embossed texture through the forefoot that isn't super noticeable on feet. And then the insole itself is made from a single layer of this very soft, spongy yellow foam. The insoles as a whole get the job done, but they feel pretty ordinary. As a base, you'll find the Hyper Reactive 2.0 stud pattern, which is a direct carryover of what we originally saw introduced on the Hyper Venom Phantom 3, which this technically replaces the unofficial Hyper Venom Phantom 4, as I like to call it. But this is a really, really solid sole plate that has an interesting design with some breaks in this firmer material to give really good flexibility in pretty much every single direction, giving it a very natural bend with your foot. But at the same time, it has some good stiffness to it to where it doesn't feel like it's just overly flimsy or something like that. As far as the stud pattern is concerned, it's kind of an evolution again of what we saw on the previous generation Hypervenom, just that much more aggressive with these mercurial style chevron bladed studs pretty much throughout the entire foot, even some bladed toe pick studs at the tip and support studs in the middle, making for very, very aggressive traction. I would say nine and a half out of 10 in regards to grip versus what you'll find from the Mercurial line. In terms of weight, being that the Phantom Venom is an unofficial power boot, which is typically not a style of football boot known for being lightweight, the Phantom Venom is actually very light. In a size 9.5 US, the Phantom Venom Elite weighs in at 7.2 ounces, the equivalent of 205 grams, which if we're comparing this to a pair of Mercurial Vapor 13 Elites in the exact same size, it's about a weight difference of 0.3 ounces in favor of the Mercurials, about 10 grams lighter. 
Um, so this is not too far off a pair of Mercurials and on par with pretty much any top end model that you can buy right now. If you're looking for that lightweight responsive feel, you're gonna get it from the Phantom Venom. On feet, the Venoms just feel good. There's nothing that I would say is particularly distinctive about them. The knitted upper is thin, it's soft, it's got a slightly padded feel to it. They're really, really flexible, so there's not much restriction, not much that needs to be broken in. You can definitely feel the flywire cables kind of hugging the side of your foot as you tie the laces tight, giving you a very secure sensation. And then the more traditional low cut construction in the heel, again, just makes them feel very comfortable on feet. There's nothing to really get used to. So from a fit and comfort standpoint, they are top notch, not really anything to complain about. As far as width is concerned, this is the direct replacement for the Hypervenom Phantom 3. And in comparison to that boot, it's very, very similar in shape as well as fit. Maybe slightly lower volume, they fit a little bit more snug, but for the most part, I think these will fit most people. Certainly not as tight fitting as a pair of Mercurials though. So as long as you don't have super wide feet, I think these will fit most people very, very comfortably. And then as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US and the fit and the length is perfect. So if you're looking to order a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. Overall, I'm a huge fan of the Phantom Venom, and given the choice between these and the brand new Mercurials, either the Vapor or the Superfly, I'd personally prefer the Phantom Venom. I find them a little bit more comfortable on my feet, although that's very much a personal preference thing. I like the fact that they're a little bit softer and have a slightly more padded feel to them, but that's just down to the style of football boot that it is. The traction is great. The stud pattern is great. They're nice and lightweight. There really isn't anything objectively that I can complain that much about, but for me, the special element of this particular boot is the striking element itself. The feel that you get when making contact with the ball directly on this sweet spot is really unlike any other football boot out there. And that's something that as a kid growing up with power boots, the Predators, the T90s kind of being some of the most popular boots out there, um, this really reminds me of that. And that's why I'm such a big fan of this boot. So if you had power boots as a kid, or you just like the sensation of having this sweet spot to connect with on a pair of football boots, while the striking experience with the super thin upper on a pair of Mercurials is also really good, there's just nothing like having an actual striking element on your boots. Anyways, guys, that's it for my review. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in a pair of Phantom Venoms in this colorway or any other colorway that's come out below the normal retail price, First link down below, that's gonna take you to the review page on my website, where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes to pick these up below the $250 retail. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.